Welcome back to Let's Play oh. Resident Evil 3! Welcome back! Uh. Alright, um... Oh, what do I want to take with me? I'll take, I'll take that. Um, take, I would take, uh, probably some grenade rounds. Of some sort. And then some healing. You don't want the flame rounds, though. Because they will not help. No. Um, they will not. Okay, then. You know, what if you just took the, the first aid box and the assault rifle? Oops. Give you that little extra bit of firepower. Yeah. Not that I think you'll need it, because I'm sure this will be pretty pretty easy on uh, easy. But... Easy. <laughs> but, you know. On it... hard, this part was. I think this was the first part that gave me more than one or two attempts worth of trouble. Mm hmm. What's coming up. Uh, one of the two moments in the game that stand out to me as the hardest is coming up. Yeah. Um, I would advise safe stating before you walk through the door down there, too. Oh. You can walk down the ladder, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Uh, but I, I think if, as soon as you go through the door, you're in. Um, safe state. There we go. <laughs> so we're func functionally, we're coming up on what amounts to... I guess you'd call it the first real boss fight of the game. Because I don't think there's a situation where you have to fight a boss before the... Well, I guess you fight the worm underground, kind of. Yeah. But this is the first time where it's like an actual fight. Yep. And not just a puzzle. Uh, where you're fighting a boss and it's not some kind of optional encounter. Um, and it is exceptionally difficult on hard. I spent probably the better part of an hour. You saved. Down here. No, it's okay. We're actually just gonna escape. Uh, it's finally nice. totally. over. Yeah. It's I'll finally count. over. It's finally over, psych. There is no escape. Only Nemi. Only Nemi. Only Nemi. It's okay, guys. I landed the helicopter safely by this naturally occurring fireball. So yeah, uh, you get to fight Nemi here. This fight is a pain in the ass on hard. Here comes Carlos. Oh yeah, one of the things I guess I forgot to mention. Um... If you jump out of the train, he gives you freeze rounds instead of helping you in the fight. Yep. Um, the freeze rounds are one of the only things directly effective to Nemesis. But you have to deal with him having a rocket launcher in the fight. Yep. When I did this fight on hard, I jumped out of the train, so he had a rocket launcher that I had to destroy first. Carlos helping you basically cuts the first phase of the fight out. That sounds like the better option of her. I would agree. Oops. And be a, be alarmed. Hey. There's two. There's a couple details of this fight that make it ex extra difficult because of Nemesis' oh, oh. tentacle. Uh oh. Oh, I died. Oh. Uh, so uh, because of Nemesis' Nemesis' tentacle thing he did in the cutscene, Jill is infected or whatever. You can't tell how hurt you actually are. Because she's constantly got the limp animation going. Yeah. So you have to just play it by ear, you know? And assume when you're too hurt. Which leads to my second problem. If you're too hurt, Nemesis will grab you for a one-hit kill. What uh -huh. you just saw. Yep. So you can't tell how hurt you are. And if you're low enough health, he'll one sh he'll give hit you a one-shot attack like that. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't mix very well, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. No, that really doesn't. So you're actually slowed down to like the slow limp. Uh, not the slowest, but you are in the you are slow. Early. Yeah. There's full health, and then there's like skip, injured, skip. and then there's nope. deathly injured. Uh, Can't skip. Each one of those is and a different speed. And depending on your choices, he can even have the rocket launcher fair and, and balanced. Yes, and yeah. if he has the rocket launcher, it's even fucking harder. Yeah. Which is what I had to fight was him with the rocket launcher, because then it's a two-phase fight. First you destroy the rocket launcher, then he gets caught on fire and you fight him again. 
So yes, taking Carlo or the E break is definitely the easier option. This fight still fucking blows. Yes. One of my biggest problems with this game, really, when you come down to it, is the way it handles boss fights. It wants to have these action y set piece bosses. It doesn't have the control scheme for action y set piece bosses. And it doesn't have a lot of the mechanics for action y set piece bosses. Like a set piece boss where you're injured, so you move slower, but the boss doesn't slow move slower to compensate, so you're kinda just in danger of being absolutely slaughtered at any given moment. Hmm. It kinda sucks. Yeah, that just sounds like terrible. Like why? This like, is one of those situations where I think we've passed the high point of the game a little bit. No. Okay, and like are those freeze rounds like especially awesome to nope. like they're the fact that... they're moderately better than anything else on him, but not enough that I think they are worth taking instead of uh yeah, yeah. I From mean, what I can tell, having Carlos come in and cut the fight in half like this. Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! God. Okay. So my experience tends to be if he grabs you, you, you just kind of start the fight hurt because I I know he infected you, but did that do actual damage? I don't you? think it does actual damage, but he does usually get an easy hit on you. Hmm. Or it's just all about... just do that much damage. Well, yeah. It does I, a lot I, of damage. Well, I, I mean, yeah, I there's heal. a lot of damage, and then there's, like, I hit you twice and you die. I mean, this is, a, this is a game series where that's kind of the norm. You get shot a couple of times, or you get hit a couple of times, and you're already and you're dead. It's a series about that kind of thing, you know? As an evil, like one and two, you get bit three times. You're already, usually, at most of the way dead. It's half the reason why a lot of these games we do uh, on the easier difficulties for convenience sake. The only positive thing I have to say about this is that it doesn't seem like this version of the limp you're too much slower, on, and also it... you never go into the critical limp because of the bullshit virus mechanic, which just seems like how limping should have worked to begin with, though. It yeah. is definitely not too much of a handicap, but it is just kind of, like, annoying. If it were the oh. really bad handicap limp, you would not be able to do this fight. Mm -mm. Which is why they don't let you go into that limp, I assume. But this whole thing is still annoying as hell. And this was it done easily, comparatively. On hard, this straight up took me, like, 45 minutes. I'm hurt. I guess I'm just gonna go take a nap in this fire. <laughs> it makes sense now. Inferno Jill. Nemesis. <laughs> hey, don't die on me. Hey, wait, did you just say Inferno Nemesis? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Don't worry, that, that'll have a rant of its own. Uh, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. Spoiler, I have a little rant when we get to remake. Okay. Oh, yeah. It... Let me just let me just say it involves the final boss and seven hours of my time. Not, a, not an exaggeration. Literally no, seven hours. Not an exaggeration. I was there. Danzica was there. This chapel is safe. The heart, the unlockable difficulties in that game virus, haven't I? are kind of bullshit. Hey, take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. If I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Okay, and now we're Carlos. So, something I'm just going to preemptively note here in this segment, from my understanding, 
uh, is first things first, you should almost certainly save. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I guess you want to even call it out. There's a spoiler I'm about to drop on you. Uh, Nemi is still around. You're playing as Carlos. He doesn't care about you. He will fucking ignore you and come kill Jill. And that's the game over. Oh. That just sounds terrible. How do you um, track that and prevent that? He he'll come to this room, room by room, and kill Jill. Wait, what? How do you prevent... Won't he? In Remi No, in this game. I, I, I mean, so... So what you can do you kill do? Jill, you yeah. just need to park your ass outside this room? Well, it's not like he's... It's not quite as intense as the rest of the game. I just know, like, if he shows up in this room... He will <sighs> kill Jill. And if he shows up in the main room... And then you run into this room, he'll follow you into this room and come kill Jill. Because he will um. ignore you to kill Jill. I'm pretty sure. I know he shows up in this area. Um, you're going to die? Yeah. I sure am. Go ahead. <laughs> I guess something worth noting also the segment is, uh, compared to the rest of the game where it's free to open fire, don't use too much ammo as Carlos. Yeah, that's what I was trying not to do, but... <sighs> um, on easy, you'll have an easier time if you have a whole extra clip. But, uh... On hard, especially, you get that 100% in the assault rifle. I don't know if he even gets a handgun in hard. I don't and that's all so. he gets. So, be careful with your ammo, Carlos. Because if you're out, you're kind of going to be boned. And you don't have access to any of your items. No, you have that, those, those are Jill's items. But Carlos it, gets nothing. They are in the- but they are the same boxes! No, nah, because one's for Jill and one's for Carlos. I mean, that, 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 that's not how boxes work. Yeah, well boxes also don't magically interdimensionally appear between rooms. True, but if you're going to have magical interdimensional boxes, be consistent, damn it! What's- it, it's always been consistent. Characters don't share an atom box. That's just the way it be. But Jill never found any of Chris's stuff in remake or in the first game, and Claire never found any of Leon's stuff. Well, they were not together. Okay. They were in the same location. But they were not. You Your logic it? makes no sense. This makes no sense. But it doesn't make any less sense than what I'm talking about. There. <laughs> uh, it is possible for Nemesis to kill Jill, but later, not right now. Oh, I guess uh, I was... You know, it's probably... Probably the return trip I'm thinking of. This makes more sense, honestly. Sorry, I didn't know this game as well as I know the others. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get things mixed up. Oh yeah, we bitched about this last time too. What's about to, what Carlos is about to do? That Jill these can't do? Things. I didn't even know these things spawned in here. Holy crap, there's so many of them! Yeah, you just run to the door. Doesn't matter. So, what can Carlos do? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, you'll see. It's, it's a real dumb. Because Carlos think... is a big, strong man. Uh, I can push it. You know who can't push that? Jill. Jill. Seriously? Someone stronger has to do it, yeah. This is literally what she says. She's like, someone stronger has to do this. Yep. Or some shit like that. That's just dumb. Big strong man has to do it. <laughs> uh, 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 it's uh, like uh, my uh, least favorite fucking like trope in horror games is like, 
Oh, I'm too weak to push this, so I'll have to get someone else to do it for me. Like, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. And it, I would, I would accept that if it were like a weak, like a, like a character whose character eyes is like physically weak, like Rebecca or something. But it's yeah. fucking Jill. Yeah, this is Jill. I mean, like. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Jill has proven on more than one occasion to be perf just as capable, if not more so, than any other God, member she's, of the she's, she's more capable than this little bitch right here. Oh, by far! Yeah, I mean, you know... The only way this would not just be, like, infuriating is maybe they make, like, you know, no, no, Chris... I punch boulders for fun. Redfield have to do that. Then maybe, because you know Chris is just like a B. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's hunters. Yeah. Uh, oh. These things fucking blow. They're hunters, so of course they blow. I think I think I hate these more than Resident Evil One's hunters. Yeah, I hate these things. Uh, <sighs> B is. Fear not, they maintain the one-hit kill attack that they had in the first game. Oh. Sa same, uh, same, uh, conditions. You have to be at least half health, and they will kill you in one shot. Mm -hmm. They will just decapitate you. Uh, yeah. the problem I have with it mostly is that there is about four times as many of them as there is in the first game in its entirety. Yeah. They are all over this fucking place. Yep. It sucks. It sucks more on hard when you have fuck all for ammo. As Carlos. If you haven't picked up on it. Wise, there are some places they can just show up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, there are certain locations, mostly, as far as I know, after this exclusively, where they can appear, but sometimes it'll be something else. Uh, it sucks. If I could give some honest advice, first time through, play the game on easy. Even if you don't want the assault rifle, box it. Just yep. put the assault rifle in the box and never touch it. Yep. Play through on easy once to get used to it, and then play it on hard. Because my first time playing it is was on hard, and it was a bitch. It was fun, gonna... but I would have had more fun if I started on easy. Yeah, hard I think the hospital is one of my least favorite parts of this game. Hard mode is hard for this game. It's, it's very tough. I think out of the original trilogy, this is definitely the hardest. Director's Diary. September 10th. These patients suffer from gangrene and congestion of their blood at first. I don't think congestion is the word you're looking for there. Yeah. Then, in, then their mind slowly deteriorates. In the end, there's nothing left of their mind. When that happens, even mercy killing seems pointless. After all, they are already dead. This disease is unlike everything, anything I've ever, I have ever witnessed. Once the patient's mind is gone, they become flesh hunger, flesh hunger, flesh hunger monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 And act like wild animals who are on, who are on some type of bloodlust. <laughs> what is this? What, what is this? Is this <laughs> they become flesh hunger monsters and act like wild animals who are on some type of bloodlust. I see they cut a little bit of the corners for translation in this section. <laughs> Fucking evidently. September 18th, another patient has been admitted to the hospital. He is showing symptoms of the first stages of the disease at this point. But I haven't been able to sleep at all these past few days. I refuse to let these patients become zombies. I am not just an ordinary citizen. I am a doctor. Even if I die, my clinical charts will contribute to finding a cure. September 26th. They lost most of the doctors and staff during the battle against the zombie patients. It's impossible to maintain the hospital under these conditions, and I know that it's too late for me. I'm beginning to feel the same itchy and hungry desire that all of my patients felt. It's too late for me. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that middle page. <laughs> yeah, just... But yeah, until, until Code Veronica came along, this was like... Easily the hardest game in this series. Yes. That that metal page was just like, there is no time. Ship it. Ship it. <laughs> it's weird because the rest of that diary is like kind of awkward, but functionally correct English. And then just yeah, that middle hunger. page just 
flesh hunger monster. Flesh hunger. <laughs> Fear not, though. Some type of bloodlust. Some type of bloodlust. On some type of blood. Please enter your voice. Fear not, though, difficulty-wise, the next game we're doing in this series takes the cake. To this day, I think. Yeah. Takes the cake. And... Uh... No, I think he dropped. I did drop. All? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if it's now or later, but I know sometimes a bunch of zombies will spawn. Outside yeah, the I think that's RNG. I um, think that's RNG, and I think it's more common on hard. Yeah. Yet another reason to just not play this game on hard. Uh, on hard, didn't you have a time where you rode the elevator and then it just o the doors opened to hunters? Yes, yes, I had two hunters spawn right outside the elevator. <laughs> yep. I remember that because it, it it really upset the shit out of me too. I got really upset at that. This hospital sucks. Yes, it does. I complained about the Nemesis boss fight, the, the one we just had. That what that sucks too. But this is like four. Might be the worst area in this game. Nothing. It's like this middle section just kind of drops a little hard in quality for a minute. Not too bad, honestly. It's still a decent section, but there's a few moments and a few, like, like the RNG here is weird. I don't like it. The puzzles are kind of silly, too. I don't like this place just because of the hunters and the way that they can. Oh. Nikolai, you're still alive. He's alive. You saw what happened. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait. And then he goes out the window. Wee. Yeah. Um, the hunters kind of kill this area for me. And yes. The fact that they get RNG after this bothers me a little bit too. Because it's like... The one thing that made hunters, you know, tolerable for me in the first game is you can predict where they're going to be. The whole thing with the first game is they're, like, predictable as hell. Every You, you can learn every enemy's placement and just know it. And... You know that can help you combat the situation. The R then just showing up in RNG kind of fucks the whole like hunter balance. Because an enemy that can one shot you, RNGing whenever you know. Zombies are walking. Great. It says the effect of the C virus at the backside. Yay. Um. It doesn't bother me with Nemesis, because that's a bit more of an event that you can prepare for. But just Hunter showing up on some screens that can one-shot you does kind of bother me. Mm -hmm. I remember dying a lot in this hospital the first couple times I played it. I don't even think I died here very much. I just know it like consistently annoyed me. There's a, there's a specific spot in the basement where... I know what you're talking about. Yeah. What do you mean... Check. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Puzzle time. So this is a kind of a weird puzzle. If I remember properly, you just gotta kind of like sort of mirror the room. Yeah, in the other room. And if I also remember properly, you don't want to account for the different directions you're facing or you yeah. don't what? you will get shocked if you uh put it in the wrong spot yep i yep, want to know like who's that. the asshole who rigged booby traps in a hospital room um yeah oswell e spencer damn you Damn you! 
or if you want it's like a corporate face umbrella because yeah, lo and this... behold they own the hospital too okay that adds up <laughs> <laughs> you'll never guess what's under in the basement of this hospital it's a lab uh, uh, not like yeah. a not like a Resident Evil one or two lab, but it's like a small lab, but still a lab. Yeah, well, of course, there's always a lab with umbrella. <laughs> what the fuck? The purpose of electrical traps in a fucking hospital room is beyond me. Well, patients shouldn't be moving around the objects in the room like that, and anyone who is trying to and gets it wrong should be punished because you don't want them getting to the, sh to the safe. Lo and behold, you got some patient with dementia in here. I think it was 104. Was it 104? Like it was 104. Oh, okay. Um, I, f I feel like I'm being a little hard in this game right now, and it probably sounds like I really don't like it. I think it's really good. We're just at the point in the game where I have a lot to bitch about. After this, I have much less to bitch about. Oh. Except for one boss, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll get to that. I don't know if this is... you like a game doesn't mean it's perfect. I mean, really, you, you know, and with a lot of, you know, most good games, well, just about every game, you know, really, there's just, like, annoying stuff about it, but the rest of the, if the rest of the game is good enough, it's Oh well, we'll we'll still play it and enjoy it. What were you saying, Gallif? I don't know if this is something we even really want to like talk about now, but I just like I heard something about one of like the dodging mechanic in the remake compared to in this game that I thought sounded really cool. Uh yeah. Um I fucking mastered that mechanic, by the way. It's <laughs> 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 to go well, watch yeah, basically yeah. understood it was that it's like in this game in the original game here you have the spot dodge that is basically based on some kind of like inconsistent timing to be able to do it at all. Mm -hmm. And in Remake, you just have a dodge that you can do at any time that has zero invincibility frames to it, however. Yes. But if you time it right, just like in this game, then you do have like an invincible dodge or something. So that is correct. There is one thing. Uh, the no iframes is actually kind of a problem at certain moments we'll get on that eventually but yeah it's not quite as it's a it's a it's a market improvement over this but it's not quite as uh it's not as, it's i not just as like that idea that it is like is you just have a, de a dedicated dodge maneuver that you can use so that even oh, if yeah. you get the timing wrong something still happens yeah uh, also, the zombies in the elevator is one of those RNG events. Uh, on that hunter doing that leap, if you're at half health, that kills you in one hit. He cuts off your head. Yep. They'll do it anyways, but if you're at full health, it only hurts you. If you're at half health, you'll die. Flat out, they kill you. You're jerks. Hell, on hard, they might be able to just kill you. I don't even remember. I think they can just one-shot you. And I think Nemesis can too, actually. <laughs> I think Nemesis can grab you at any point on hard. And if he tentacles you, you're fucking done. It's been a little while since Nemesis showed up. And since he's... I have a feeling he's gonna, like, just come busting through the wall and here pretty uh, soon. Well, I can put you at ease in that he has no reason to care about Carlos. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah, true. He's programmed it's... for stars, and Carlos isn't stars, so he doesn't yeah. give a shit about Carlos. Also, fuck this room. Yes. Fuck this room. Medical instruction manual. Umbrella Medical Service, North American Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedure as detailed below. 1. Supply enough energy to the system. 2. Set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need to control the five levers. 
This will cause the two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be produced automatically. Automatically. Yeah, I hate this room. This room fucking blows. Yeah. It's puzzle sucks. Yeah. Uh... And it doesn't take a genius to see what's going to happen when you're on your way out of this room. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, all the vats are going to shatter. All, all the tubes are going to open, and yeah. Kill. And since we're just chilling here, I can tell you, I'm pretty sure that's a different kind of hunter. Yeah. Um, I think the hunters we've been seeing are Hunter Omega. And these are Hunter Gammas, I think. Uh, all as part of the same project, but, uh, with different results. Like, uh, I know, I think the Gammas, the ones in the tubes, were, like, because a hunter, like, as you see it in the first game, is a human DNA Im embryo implanted with frog DNA, I believe. And I believe these are the opposite of that, where it's like a frog embryo. Which doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Implemented with uh, human DNA? Or something like that? I think so, and yeah. And uh, the other ones we've seen before this, I don't really know what the fuck those guys are. Like, what their deal is. Other than they can jump out of the water sometimes. <laughs> So maybe they're the frog ones, and I don't know what the fuck these guys are. Uh, the name the name of the game here is to get the yellow bar. Yeah. This is one of those puzzles where if I'm playing on an emulator, I save state right after I finish. Yep. I just don't remember how to do this anymore. I want to say it was 1 and 2 were right, and A was facing right. Okay. But it also might be randomized. Because I know a lot of puzzles in this game are randomized in their solutions. Oops. This game's got kind of a thing for randomization. Nope. Oh. Just try and get through with a guide, will you? Almost. And, I don't know. I like I like the idea of randomized puzzles sometimes in games. Like the puzzle where you have to look at the computer screen to determine what product it is and type that password in. That being randomized, I'm cool with. Because it's like a simple, you know, you check it. And... Yeah. Yeah, and type it in, that's fine. But something, something like, like this, this, it's yeah. like you're already having to spend time trying to figure it out, and randomizing that could make it just an unnecessarily like annoying thing. Um, I don't know, I always liked the Silent Hill approach to puzzles, where uh, they were the same in each playthrough, but you could pick a difficulty for your puzzles. And, you know, they change drastically depending on the, the difficulty you picked. So, you know, if you pick easy because you weren't that good at puzzles, then you had a pretty basic puzzle that wasn't terribly difficult to figure out. And if you picked hard, then you could get some pretty abstract there shit. <laughs> yes. Um... That's one thing I, like, really appreciate about, like, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 is being able to pick your puzzle difficulty and your combat difficulty separately. I'm wondering if I should pick easy puzzles when I play Silent Hill 2. <laughs> um, I did it on normal puzzles and got through, okay. Alright. I think Silent Hill 3 is the one that has the rhythm <sighs> okay. for puzzles. It's gonna suck. And I believe these guys do have a uh, insta-kill attack as well. And this is why... I would die and, multiple yep. times because it won't and stop. The fuck, 
dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah. he eats me. And there's yeah. there's your insta kill attack. They will just nom on you. Oh, they suck. I hate this room. This uh -huh. room sucks. Yeah, but this room is just terrible. Yeah. Uh, I think I got through this by just not stopping. At all. Yeah, I'll try that. Because they corner you and then you can't move. Yep, I'm fairly certain I just didn't let go of the run button. I do like how they have that unique animation where they just eat you. Yeah, because if you can get to the door, you will have a frame where you can, if you're mashing the A button, get through the door. Excuse me, get through the door. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, yeah, I died a lot in that room. I built. I remember getting lucky when I played on hard with you guys and getting out of there in one go. But in fact, I think I got out of there in one go and then died somewhere else. <laughs> And then had to do it again, but mm -hmm. it's not a good. I don't know. It's not a good room. Would that have been the time where you opened the elevator doors to hunters? Because that'd be almost poetic. I feel like that's probably what happened. And that's why I got so pissed off about it. Probably. <laughs> yep. Because I. Yeah, there he is. This fucking guy. <laughs> that guy right there. That's what happened. That is what happened. Oh. Oh my gosh. I I I wonder if that's. Not so much RNG, but they might but, just be. But there. if you manage to get get away from it that easy, spawn hunters. You know. Okay, I can see take that. your poison. I would take those two over the ones in the basement. There we go. You can you can just core like tunnel like uh, tunnel them in. You can just you know? blast them. Yeah, yeah, you can just blast those guys. They can't knock you in a corner. Uh, if you're playing on a, if you're playing on a uh, emulator, this is another moment where I might recommend save stating because when you get back, you're gonna have a thing to deal with. If you're not, uh, don't die. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Just fucking don't die. Yeah. Also, and look at that, look at that running animation. <laughs> It gone. All right. Well, that's, you know, that's done with. There's a, uh, I keep doing this, but I don't want to die. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the same saints are for. Where'd you guys come from? Where'd that lady come from? <laughs> right? Where did these fucking people come from? Who are you people? Why are you here? Why are you people? We learned how to use doors. Oh, let's see if I can get past these guys. Well, maybe if I, like, stop. We have the camera cooperate. This is another one of those things, and this is just kind of a problem I think classic RE kind of just has in this in this day and age. Is like some of these enemy hallways don't work too well anymore. Or they're like showing their age. Anyway, this is gonna happen. This is what I was talking about earlier. He will yep. be line for Jill, as far as I recall. Unless you shoot, you know, when you shoot him, he defends himself, but if you don't do anything, he's going to eventually just try to kill Jill. So you, your goal is to get to the room before he does, because if you get there first and inject the vaccine, you get that cutscene immunity. I think he'll actually just fight you if you stay in that room, maybe. But yeah, as soon as you run away from him to another room, he'll, you have to get to Jill first, otherwise he will kill her. 
Also, if you kill him as Carlos, he's has less HP later, I think, than the, the next time you encounter him, it said. Hmm. Huh. That kind of makes sense. Cause... Anyway, that's the last time you need ammo is Carlos, so... At that moment, if you want to fight Nemesis, fire away. Also, very important note. If you didn't kill those zombies earlier, yes. at least on hard, they will still be in that room. What's going on? As far as I know. Yeah. And Nemesis will also be in that room still. What? Nemesis and of fuck course, around. the zombies won't attack Nemesis. No, it's been waiting for you. Well, no, he's already he's already team virus. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? <sighs> yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Yeah, after you mentioned it, I suddenly had a distinct memory of you being in that room and there being zombies everywhere and Nemesis being in there too, all mm -hmm. trying to kill you. I remember getting grabbed by a zombie and killed by a zombie in that room while that was happening. Yeah. This game throws some stuff at you. And yes. it makes sense, a lot of it. But it's always stuff that I think, as like a player, you wouldn't initially anticipate. Like, it makes sense given what Nemesis' goal is, that he's going to go for chill. But when you just see him run run around, you know, as Carlos, you might think, oh, he wants to kill me. You know, it's a fight. I got to fight him. And then he runs past you, and you're like, oh, shit. Of course, people like me, who might just run away at first anyways, might not even notice, but... Uh, it's some interesting subversion, I guess, of like what you would anticipate, which kind of makes Nemesis more interesting as a villain, to some degree. Yeah. Well, it's been 43 minutes, so I think we'll call it here. When we come back, we're gonna go face Nemi. Question mark? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun.